ZeroHedge.com, ZeroHedge.com, Shalom. Farmers warned that the mega drought in the western U.S. threatens to cause devastating crop failures in 2021, talking about farmers. Well, throughout U.S. history, there have always been droughts in the western half of the country from time to time. But what we are dealing with now is truly alarming. Scientists tell us the multi-year mega drought towns has developed in the southwest portion of the country. And this is the worst year of the mega drought so far by a wide margin. Conditions do not radically improve, so we are going to have a major agricultural disaster soon. We are going to have a major ag agricultural disaster on our hands. So some farmers have already decided not to plant crops at all this year, but many others have decided to plant, plant anyway, knowing that if enough rain doesn't come, their crops will certainly fail. This is a map related to the western, west portion of this country. That released April 15, 2021. Traders expect. 
expecting a low harvest this year. Despite all of our advanced technology, farmers can't grow crops if it doesn't rain. And farmers in Texas, named Blake Fennel, says that his farm has not had any significant rain almost in two years. West Texas farmer says this area hasn't seen significant rainfall in nearly two years. We still got to give that crop every chance we think we can get. But at the same time, we also can't waste a lot of money on crops that we don't think we're going to have going into excess. What a nightmare right now, nearly the entire state of Texas is in some level of drought. And we haven't even gotten to the summer months yet. Lucky for that interference, you know. Uh, to call this play would be, call this a play would be a major understatement. On the border of uh, Oregon and California, farmers just learn the water levels are so low that, that they will get only a tiny fraction of the water they need in 2021. Hundreds of farmers who are relying on massive irrigation, uh, irrigation project that span from Oregon to California borders learn Wednesday they will get a tiny fraction of the water they need amid the worst drought in decades as federal agent regulators attempt to balance the need of agriculture against federally threatened and endangered this week, uh, fish species that are essential to the heritage of, some, of several tribes. Oregon's governor said that the prolonged drought in the region has a full attention of our offices. And she is working with the congressional delegates, White House, and federal agencies to find relief for those affected. Do you think that you could run a successful farm under such conditions? Elsewhere, California, in California, water allocations reductions up to 95% of are forcing many farmers to make some exceedingly heartbreaking decisions. Drought conditions are already forcing about valley farmers to make difficult decisions when it comes to the crops as many are, as many are facing severe water restrictions. There are districts throughout the California that have experienced up to 95% reduction in water. Fresno, California Farm Bureau CEO Ryan uh, Jacobson, U, uh, U.S. food production will be down in 2021 this year. But if the, if the sufficient rain starts falling in the western U.S., we can we still see a miracle. So basically, if, if there's enough water to rain, then maybe you know it'll get better. Um, but if enough rain does not fall, we are going to see an epic crop failure. Projected that the drought will cause water levels in Lake Mead to soon fall to the lowest level ever recorded. Wrecked by drought, climate change, and overuse, the key reservoir on the Colorado, Colorado River could sink historically low levels later this year. The U.S. government projections show uh, potentially trigger significant, uh, significant water cutbacks in some states as early as next year. The projection uh, released by the U.S. Uh, Bureau of Reclamations show that Lake Mead, the largest reservoir in the, in the country and a, and a vital water supply to be as across the southwest, could fall later this year to the lowest level since it was filled in the 1930s. If you live anywhere in the western half of the country, you should brace yourself for severe water restrictions. And all, and all of us need to brace ourselves for much higher prices at the grocery stores. This article here is Zero Hedge, zerohedge.com. I got this uh, from a dog, fit, a dog 7 video I was looking at. This one to the article. Zerohedge.com, um, zerohedge.com. Farmers warned that the mega drought in the western U.S. threatens to cause devastating crop failures in 2021. Tuesday, April 20th, 2021, 6.45 p.m., a few days ago. Shalom, give up.
praise the Yahweh Bashim Yahshua Bashim Rakakadash, the one of the elders and apostles, for the edification and knowledge, call Halaya and Yahweh Bashim Yahshua Bashim Rakakadash, and give all praise again to Yahweh Bashim Yahshua Bashim Rakakadash. This relates to article zerohedge.com talking about mega drought in the western um, the western part of the U.S. Um, to threaten um, devastation for crop growth. For example, um, supplies relating to wheat, mixed wheat with, with um, for pastas, you know, could be limited. And also, a water uh, restriction in those areas. The Hoover Dam uh, supplies a lot of that water in that region, that Midwest region. There's a lot, there's a low levels in the water relating to that um, that dam. So, uh, this is precursors for drought, potentially famine. You know. I'm gonna get um I'm gonna go some scriptures. Go to Jeremiah. Jeremiah talks about 14, talks about drought, famine, the sword, which is destruction, relating really, to Israel, the things they had to go through. I'll go to number 15. Let me see. Therefore, thus saith the Lord concerning the prophets that prophesies in my name, I will sit, and I sent them not, yet they say, sword and famine shall not, not, not be in this land. By the sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed. That's the false prophets, the mockers, which are false prophets. Um, I'll read number 14 up. Then the Lord said unto them, Prophets, prophets prophesy lies in my name, I will send them not, neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them, they prophesy into your false vision and divination and things and things of naught and deceit of their heart. Man, so these false prophets prophesy in different things that like, for example, and it's not gonna be Jacob's trouble, everything will be okay, and different things. So they set up anyway to do that. But, you know, to deceive. Let me see if I get down. Um, what scriptures tell is going to be Jacob's trouble, Jeremiah 30 and 7. Alas, alas, will never be a time such as Jacob's trouble. Such as never before since, since Jacob's trouble. Paraphrase. 16. Um, and the people to whom they prophesy shall be cast out in the streets of, of Jerusalem because of the famine and the sword, the sword is destruction, and and they shall have none to bury them, them, their wives, nor sons, their daughters, and I will pour out, I will pour their wickedness upon them. And this is pretty much the suffering be, uh, relating to the nation of Israel, really, because of their disobedience, not obeying their power, Yahweh Shem man. So these curses, the drought, famine, and uh, the sword, which is ultimately their destruction, man. Fast forward to um, relating to future prophecy. That's what's going to happen again. Therefore, thou shalt say in the word unto them, Let my eyes run down with tears night and day, and let them not cease. For the virgin daughter of my people is broken with a, a great breach and with very grievous blow. So that um, pretty much talk about um, the things they had to deal with relating to the drought, the famine, and um, the sword that's ultimately going to destroy them. Huh? I'm going to go to um, go to Luke 21, Luke 21, real quick.
21 and 11, and great earthquakes shall be in different places, and famines, pestilence, fearful sightings, and great signs shall there be from the heaven. So you're going to have famines and pestilence, man. Mark 13 and um, yeah, Mark 13 and 8. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earthquakes in different places, and there shall be famines and troubles. Potentially, there's going to be a lot of troubles ahead. There's troubles that's developing now, and troubles that's going to be ahead. We're seeing a lot of disasters natural disasters happening all over the, in different various countries all over the world from saudi arabia iran J japan china australia um the african countries um here a little bit in america um italy france whatever country you can name it even other countries you haven't heard indonesia and countries you never heard of are, are seeing a lot of disasters man Weather-wise, so that's the signs that the Lord is bringing upon from heaven, man. These great plagues and on uh, judgments, man. I'm gonna read number eight again. This is Mark 13 and eight. For nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and shall be earthquakes in different places, and there shall be famines in trouble these are the beginnings of sorrows and that's what they are the beginnings of sorrows Matthews 24 it's Matthews 24 and um I'll read 7 and 8 for nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. And that's what we see in the tensions with all these nations and powerful kingdoms, superpowers, proxy wars, relating to armament missiles and stuff. You see in a lot of these tensions between these nations. Um, For nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in different places. All these are beginnings of sorrows. And that's what the times we're in. Beginnings of sorrows. I'm going to get... Um, Yeah, a verse in um, second address. Second address six and um, twenty uh, two. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouses suddenly shall be empty. It's gonna be a lack of food, man. So the things that were once full relating to these storehouses, a place where you could fill a lot of supplies, victuals, are gonna become are, are gonna become empty. I'm gonna to go to um, second Ezra 16. This will be the last one. 16 and 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mourning, the beginnings of famine and great death, the beginnings of wars, and the power shall stand in fear, the beginnings of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? That's what we are. We've seen the beginnings of sorrows, death, beginnings of death, great mourning, famine, potentially, potential wars, because rumors are nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. So the beginning of wars, and most of all, beginnings of all forms and different types of forms of evil, man, that we're seeing all over the world, man. That's manifesting. Is this something short relating to that article? Um, um, so this is the times we're in, man. So potentially a lot of things is out there related to the farmers. You know, that's their livelihood. They can't produce crops, man. They out of business, man. 
we, and it trickles down to the consumer. We don't get certain supplies related from them crops. So that being said, um, I hope it helps whoever listens. Give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yosha, Bashim Rakakadash. Shalom.